Okay, so hello guys! At ako nga po pala si Jaisel Devera at ngayong nagbabalik sa channel na ito. So if you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell para makapanood ka ng may iba't ibang videos about home-based jobs at anything na pwedeng pagkakitaan online. Alam nyo guys, dito sa bansa natin, majority pa rin ng mga tao ang hindi pa nakakaalam sa cryptocurrencies or digital assets. Karamihan pa sa sabihin, Miss Bitcoin? Scam yan! Hindi po. Well, in fact, ang Bitcoin at ang mga ibang uri ng cryptocurrencies ay isa lang ring uri ng pera na tinatawag na virtual currencies. Isa sa mga paraan para kumita dito ay ang pag-trade. So for example, itong ballpen na to, binili mo itong ballpen sa halagang 10 pesos. At dahil sa demand, lumaki yung value niya at naging 15 pesos. Which means, pag binenta mo ito sa halagang 15 pesos, understood na meron kang tubo na 5 pesos. And it works the other way around then. Pag bumaba naman ang presyo niya, let's say 8 pesos na lang. Ayan. So lugi ka na ngayon ng 2 pesos kaya wag kang magbebenta pag lugi ka. So ganun lang po yung concept ng trading. Pero saan naman namin ito pwedeng gawin? Anong website, anong platform ang kailangan naming puntahan? Well actually guys, ito yung isa sa pinaka-importanteng dapat dating bigyan ng emphasis kasi yung karamihan na scam di dahil kay Bitcoin yun ay dahil sa pagpili ng maling tao <laughs> ay yes sa pagpili ng maling trading platform ayun naman pala <laughs> kaya naman for today's video I will introduce a trusted trading platform at BSP regulated so tiyak na tiyak kang safe and secured ang pera mo which is PDAX or Philippine Digital Asset Exchange with their newest update, very accessible na siya because you will be able to trade with a minimum of 50 pesos using only your mobile phone. At ituturo ko yan lahat in this video. Kaya naman, I want you to stay tuned until the end para wala kayong mamiss na kahit anong information. So right now, I'm going to teach you how to start trading crypto with a minimum price of 50 pesos using only your mobile phone. For you to sign up for an account sa PDAX, please follow the instructions dyan sa ating description box or you could just follow me sa ating demo right now. So guys, by the way, available po si PDAX mobile application sa iOS and sa Android devices. So ito yung may kita nyo once downloaded guys. You can sign up and verify. You can cash in, of course. And here sa PDAX, you can start trading. Trading, buy and sell Bitcoin, Ether, XRP, and other cryptocurrencies using PHP easily, directly, and at globally competitive market rates. Ang maganda kasi dito sa PDAX, as I've mentioned din sa mga previous videos natin about PDAX, hindi ka na dadaan sa Forex, like hindi ka na dadaan sa mga USD conversion. Agad-agad from PHP, sa ating local currency, you will be able to buy some digital assets such as Bitcoin at yung mga na-mention dito. And for you to sign up guys, you just have to provide your email address. And then sa next step dito guys, I think meron kayo isa-sign ng mga terms and agreement. And right after that, makaka-receive din kayo ng verification sa inyong email. So make sure guys na talagang valid email address yung ipang sa sign up nyo dito. And then guys, follow the instructions lang hanggat sa makarating kayo sa point where you have to provide your your valid ID for validation. Ayan, meron silang KYC. And isa rin yun sa mga requirements, of course, para mas ma-maximize pa natin yung ating mga limits sa pag-trade, sa pagka-cash in, at sa pagka-cash out. And kapag meron ka ng account dito sa PDAX, of course, magsasign in lang kayo with your email address and your password. And just to let you know as well, guys, it's a must then na i-activate yung ating two-factor authentication para na rin sa security ng ating account. So, madali lang naman to, guys, pag i-activate ninyo. Just follow the instructions and kailangan meron kayong Google Authenticator kasi yan yung mag-generate ng mga six-digit code para i-input dito every time you log in. Nandito na tayo sa ating portfolio. Ito nakalagay yung ating mga balances. Your total balance, your peso balance, digital asset balance, and kung meron kang pending orders, naka-indicate din yan dyan. And also guys, may kita nyo rin dito yung inyong mga assets dito sa PDAX. And this is optional guys if you want to upgrade to premium. So punta muna tayo dito sa wallet. Dali papakita ko sa inyo kung paano tayo makakapag-cash in. We have several mode of payments available. So itap natin tong cash in. So 
dito guys, meron tayong three types of mode of payment. Unahin muna natin tong online. So ayan guys, meron silang mga supported banks dito. So ang minimum cash in is 200 pesos. And by the way guys, meron tayong code dyan na pwede nyong ilagay. When you cash in at least 1,000 pesos, both of us makakakuha tayo ng cashback. So I would appreciate no guys if gagamitin nyo yung code natin. And under e-wallet din pala guys, meron na rin sila ditong mga payment options like Coins PH, Gcash, and Paymaya. Eh, paano naman kung wala kang e-wallet? At nagsisimula ka pa lang sa digital world. Ayan, huwag ka mag-alala kasi meron naman silang OTC or over-the-counter. Meron silang M. Lewil Year. It's very convenient, guys, kasi marami silang mga payment options. Kung baga, no excuses ka na. <laughs> no excuses. So, dito, guys, pwede ka mag-cash in sa mga iba't-ibang supported uh, cryptocurrencies nila. Ang itatap nyo lang dyan is receive. So, for example, sa Ethereum. Tap nyo yung receive and makikita nyo dito yung inyong ETH wallet address. Ayan, copy nyo lang yan or you can use the QR code right here. Ngayon guys, ipapakita ko na sa inyo yung isa sa mga latest update ng kanilang mobile application which is dito sa trade. Okay, so ngayon, uh, I'll just quickly explain kung paano tayo pwede mag-trade dito sa PDOX mobile application. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa trade page. And as you can see, meron dito mga iba't ibang digital assets na pwede natin gamitin for trading. Here, we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, USDT, USDC, Litecoin, and BCH. And most commonly na ginagamit right now is itong si Bitcoin. And uh, talagang balitang-balita recently yung pinakamalaking dump or basically yung pagbagsak ng presyo ni Bitcoin. Doon sa mga pagbagsak ng presyo kasi yan yung pinakamagandang opportunity para, alam niyo yun, para makapagsimula tayo. Since, gaya nga nang sabi ko, yung basic concept ng trading is buy low, you can sell it at higher price. Opportunity na natin ngayon to uh, get in no sa market. So one of the latest update dito sa trading platform ni PDAX app is yung kanilang two types of trading platforms. So meron silang basic which is this one and meron din silang pro which is this one. So magsimula muna tayo sa basic. So this basic trading platform is para sa mga beginners. So pati dito guys sa basic, mas pinasimplify din nila yung mga terms. So guys kung makikita nyo itong set price, may drop down siya and here we have two options. First is convert. Here sa convert, you can instantly convert to best price. And yung set price naman, you can set your limit price. Set a specific buy or sell price Price. So basically guys, kung bibili ka, dapat mas mababa yung set price. Kasi syempre, mas gusto mo makabili ng mas mura. And sa sell naman, pwede ka mag-set ng mas mataas na presyo para mas mabenta mo siya ng mas mahal. And now, ito yung isa sa pinakabagong update ni PDAX which is Pro Trading Platform. So ganun pa rin naman siya guys. Just like yung basic, meron lang mga binagong terms and may mga naidagdag lang. So drop down, may kita natin dito yung market and limit. So basically, itong market, siya yung convert doon sa basic. Kasi, kumbaga instantly to eh. Oo, sa current market price niya as of now, doon ma-fulfill yung order. So if you want to buy at the market, so market muna tayo guys, sa buy, you will convert your PHP to BTC. And dito naman sa sell, you will convert your Bitcoin to PHP. So ganun lang siya, okay? Here, you can type in your quantity in BTC and you can type in as well your amount in PHP. So, para mas madali, I would recommend na dito kayo sa PHP but if you want to buy your desired quantity of Bitcoin, dito kayo magta-type. Automatic naman kasi yan, guys. If you type in 50, punta na dito yung quantity ng Bitcoin na bibilin mo at this price sa current market value. And scrolling down, may kita nyo dito yung fees, which is 25 cents, your total amount. And dito naman sa projected holdings, ay meron, marami nalilito sa projected holdings. Ito yung magiging holdings mo right after you place your market order. So, hindi naman talaga siya nakakalito, guys. Uh, aralin nyo lang and itulitin nyo tong video na to, itong explanation natin. This is uh, your first step talaga if you want to learn trading. Eh. And, Jayzal, ano ba tong mga numbers na nakikita dito sa gilid? <laughs> Ayan. So, basically, guys, this is our depth or yung order book. Ayan. Dito natin makikita yung mga orders ng ibang users. Okay? Ayan. Yung mga limit orders yan, guys. And, speaking of, ano, no, mga limit orders, we're going to talk about naman yung limit order. Di ba, nasa market order tayo. Dito na man tayo sa limit order. So, the same lang din siya with a set price sa basic trading. Ayan. Dito naman set a specific price or sell price. 
Okay? So, if you tap on it, nadadagdagan lang din yung ating mga options right here. Naging tatlo na siya kanina kasi diba dalawa, BTC and PHP. Dito mayroon na siyang limit price. So, here you just basically gonna type yung limit price. Let's say, ayan, meron tayo ditong uh, limit price na 1,972,700 pesos. So, yan yung limit price na pag pumalo sa ganitong presyo si Bitcoin, automatically, ma-fill in yung ating order. So, ayan, at 50 pesos, ito yung makukuha nating value, 0.00002534. And ito naman guys, comparing no, a while ago, mas mababa yung fee, yung transaction fee, if you are going to place your limit order. 20 centavos lang naman siya. So, 5 centavos lang naman yung difference, not a big deal. Ayan, so, this is your projected holdings. Yan, in-explain ko na sa inyo a while ago, what is projected holdings. Uh, every time then dapat agad-agad kayo nakakapag ano, place ng order kasi minsan nagbabago yung presyo ng Bitcoin and uh, you have to review and refresh lang kayo and then mag-place uli kayo ng order just in case lang na nag-error or something like that kasi mabilis nagbabago yung price ni BTC and nagbabago rin of course yung system natin dito kaya kailangan pag nag-error uh, ulitin nyo lang so yun confirm nyo lang yung order if you're uh, decided no to buy at this price and makikita nyo siya guys sa inyong pending order page ayan so as of now wala akong pending order kasi hindi naman ako nag-place talaga ng limit order no and you can cancel some orders na ayaw mo nang ma-fulfill. Basta hindi pa siya na-fulfill, okay lang na i-cancel mo. I hope marami kayo natutunan dito sa ating ano, no, basic trading tutorial. Uh, how to place limit order and sell order sa both basic and pro trading platform ni PDAX. Uh, their latest update dito sa kanilang mobile application. And kung may katanungan kayo, comment down below. Sasagutin natin yan. So ayan guys, marunong na kayong mag-place ng buy and sell order ninyo. And for sure, in that way, makaka-earn na kayo ng profit. Di man agad-agad malaki, pero slowly but surely. And this time, ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano tayo makakapag-cash out ng funds natin dito sa PDAX. Here, we have several ways there. Gaya rin sa pagka-cash in. Dito tayo sa PHP. Um, under online, meron silang Instapay, Pesanet, and Union Bank Fund Transfer. And dito sa Instapay, ang cash out is real time. Ayan. Sa pag-cash out naman, ang recommended ko is dito sa Instapay. And marami tayong mga iba't ibang choices ng mga banks kung saan nyo gustong ipasa yung pera ninyo. Like in our case, BPI. Ayan. Nandito rin yung BPI. Meron din ditong Globe Gcash. Ayan. Ayan. And dito naman tayo sa e-wallet. Guys, ang available is PayMaya. Ayan, real-time din po ang pagka-cash out kay PayMaya. And meron din silang over-the-counter in case lang na kailangan nyo na ng cash agad-agad, ano? Through Cebuana Luwilier and M. Luwilier. Within a day, makakapag-cash out kayo over-the-counter. And you can also send out your digital currencies. And this time naman, ang itatap natin dito ay send. Ayan, so for example, Bitcoin. Tap nyo yung send. Kailangan nyo lang ilagay yung amount of Bitcoin that you want to send. And make sure lang guys, when you paste your uh, recipient address, kung Bitcoin yan, dapat Bitcoin address yan. Kung XRP, dapat XRP address yung kailangan nyo gamitin. Ganon. And guys, magkamali lang isang digit dyan. May tendency talagang mawala na yung pera ninyo. Kaya ingat-ingat kayo uh, hanggat maaari. Double check, triple check nyo yung pag-i-input nyo ng mga digital wallet address ninyo, no? And also, guys, mapakita ko sa inyo yung mga cash out history natin dito sa screen from this exchange platform. Kaya, guys, do not miss these opportunities na nag-aabang sa'yo. Kaya naman, grab your device and start trading digital assets using PDAX. So, just a risk disclaimer. Cryptocurrency trading and owning digital assets come with inherent high risk as the price and value of such assets are subject to market volatility. The prices may change rapidly and potentially cause losses to you. Do not invest the money na kailangan mong gamitin sa importanteng bagay. Discipline yourself when in terms of money. Okay? So you can also visit their website www.pdax.ph and download their mobile application available on Google Play and App Store. And also guys, meron din silang Telegram community. You can check them out. I will link it also on our description box below. So yun lang naman guys and thank you so much for watching this video. And kung na-enjoy mo ito, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa aking mga uploads. At huwag mo na rin kalimutan na mag-subscribe kay Ninang Jaisal. So have a nice day, God bless, and goodbye!